Hello and welcome to another installment of Gotham TV. What do, what do we call this, Joe? Gotham TV? Gotham TV. Um, so I want to, um, uh, I, I, we made a video of a device called the RF View. Um, it's by a company called Kaltman Creations. Um, and I, I wanted to do a little introduction um, before we rolled the video, um, just to put it in context. Um, RF spectrum, we all know, is getting trickier, has gotten a lot trickier. And I believe that any device that lets us um, see what's going on with the RF spectrum is really important. Um, it's an important tool to do our jobs. It doesn't have to be the kind of thing that a professional RF coordinator might use. It could be um, a simple, uh, inexpensive device. Ideally, it would be for um, people that use RF um, uh, day to day. Um, so, a couple of years ago, um, the RF Explorer came out, um, and uh, it was a big hit. It was inexpensive, but, you know, left a lot to be desired um, in terms of its user interface. Um, and also, um, its build quality was good, but it, it um, you know, it, it just lacked um, a kind of robustness um, for the field. Um, it's still a good product and used properly. It does um, a really great job. Um, but I've always been on the lookout for something um, that bridges the gap between the cost of the RF Explorer and um, what the next level might be, which in my mind is the uh, units by TTI. Um, and the RFU fits that uh, bill nicely. It's got um, a lot of the same um, uh, specs as the TTI unit. Um, it comes pretty close. Um, and it is affordable, and it runs on a Windows tablet. Um, so you know, at about the $1,400, $1,500 price mark, less if you bring your own Windows tablet to it, um, it's a really good product. Um, and I'm excited to share it with you. So, uh, without further ado, let's roll the video. Hi, I'm Peter Schneider, and uh, welcome to me showing the Kaltman Creations RF View. Um, it's uh, an interesting product. Um, it is a spectrum analyzer um, that is run on a tablet. It doesn't have to be a tablet, but you'll see in a second that a tablet's a good form factor for it. Um, so here is the spectrum analyzer part, this part right here. Um, it's a, it's a, basically it's a plastic box that's kind of glued onto the tablet. It's available both with the tablet and without the tablet if you want to supply your own. Um, so I'm just going to go through it. Um, it runs on batteries. We, we charge it for a little bit. Um, so right there is the power switch. So. Um, I'll connect all the connections first. Here's a USB, uh, and here we go. They supply this handy dandy um, USB cable. Um, and this HDMI cable, by the way, that's here, um, this is just so that we could record a direct feed out of the tablet. Um, so USB first. Um, next up is power, um, and the power, it does run on batteries, but this will just be, um, so the batteries don't run out, um, is this a f uh, cable here. Um, it's a 12-volt adapter. Um, and you have two power connections. One is right here. And the other is right there. And then um, to show a feature later, I'm going to hook up an audio connector here. Uh, and you can hear it click in place. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And we'll sort of place this into its overhead position now. Uh -huh. And there we go. All right. Um, so uh, tablet's powered up. Just double click on the application icon, um, and it will load up its application. Let me square that off. And it will tell me it can talk to uh, the scanner, detected scanner, say OK. And off we go. OK, so here's the screen for this scanner. 
Um, let's adjust that. And um, you choose your menu options here on the bottom. So first parameter is um, what RF spectrum do we want to see? Um, if we cut to a wide shot, I have a, um, uh, a transmitter, an electrotransmitter. It's being fed by my phone. Um, and so we're going to feed um, some music into an electrotransmitter that's on. This transmitter happens to be transmitting on 673.5 megahertz. So one of my favorite features is this touch to listen feature. Um, we um, enable touch to listen and it, because snap to peaks is uh, checked, it automatically goes to our signal. So now if we're, we see a strong signal, we want to know what it is, we can say, hey, what is that? And um, it is uh, apparently public domain music, coincidentally <laughs> enough. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the music on my phone. Um, but certainly um, having this information um, to kind of find where clear frequencies are. So if I go back to the sweep mode, um, you know, it's super uh, helpful. And I can, you know, again, kind of say, okay, well, I see that there's some clear spectrum uh, between 640 and 645. Um, I can see some more clear spectrum um, between 661 and 660, well, really around 661. But also, you know, I can, I can zoom in. I can do, you know, anything that um, the UI of the tablet is capable of, I can sort of like two-finger zoom. I can two-finger zoom out and it'll adjust accordingly. Um, it's very, very, very um, user-friendly. It's a lot user-friendlier um, than both some of the higher-end spectrum analyzers and some of the lower-end spectrum analyzers. Um, is it as accurate as like an $8,000 Enritsu? No. But this really is for um, sound mixers that need to get an idea of the spectrum that they're either about to use or going to use on a scout. Um, so uh, one other feature that I really want to um, uh, bring to your attention is you can go on a scout and you can save a picture for reference. It's simply as quick as that, export um, window image. Um, or um, you can save a CSV and you can save all these different values. Um, so you know, for my purposes, I would probably just want maximum hold value. Um, and you save it as a CSV, you can upload it to um, your favorite frequency coordination software. Kaltman does also distribute frequency coordination software, um, but these work with IAS, and it'll also work on our website, too. Um, so you can save it right to the tablet. It is a Windows tablet, so if it's got connectivity to the outside world, you can email it right from the tablet. Um, and yeah, it is uh, pricing and availability information is on our website. Um, thanks for watching. All right, so there you have it. Um, yeah, I mean, I really, um, I really do uh, feel that it's important for every mixer that uses radio mics to have some kind of spectrum analyzer on the cart like this. Um, you know, this morning I was filling in for the main mixer on Homeland. Um, pretty simple scene, three radio mics, um, decent RF, one of the radio mics. Um, starts to act, uh, act up, you know, I hear the telltale uh, RF interference sounds. I look at the RF level, it's fine. Um, it would have been great to have another device to be able to see what's going on with the spectrum. And the way I would use it is I would plug it into um, the output in the case of Homeland's, uh, that mixer's equipment, I'd plug it into the output of the venue. Um, so that way I could see what the venue sees, the electro venue. Um, so, yeah, any questions, uh, give us a call, um, send us an email. As always, we welcome your ideas and suggestions. What's that email address? Info at Gotham. Info at GothamSound.com. Uh, oh, it's right on the screen. Look at that. That's incredible. Um, anyways, thanks for watching.